Hey Theo, my name is Riley. I just got a simple question. What do you think of my car? It's a 2012 Suzuki SX4 hatchback. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Gang, gang. Gang, baby. Thank you, Riley, for calling in on that auto. And um, I don't fiscally, I don't know much about it. You know, you need to look up in Kelly Blue Book or get you on the website or something, Edmonds or something. I don't know. You know, we used to have that Kelly Blue Book, and we'd look on there and see, oh, wow, my car is a piece of shit, I remember realizing. Wasn't even in there. The value of it, it was just damn, wasn't even in there. God. But um, I love that. It's a Kia Sorento, huh? Is that what you said? What do you think of my car? It's a 2012 Suzuki SX4 hatchback. Uh, okay. Different. That's all I wanted to know. Suzuki. Gang, gang. Yeah, we used to have a brother by us that grew up by us, and they called him Suzuki Leg. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know what happened or what had something had happened to his leg. I think he'd. Um, well, I know what happened. His brother had burned down uh, their garage. He'd, his brother had locked him in a garage or something and burned it down. And part of his leg got grilled out a little. And for some reason, they uh, they call him Suzuki Leg over there. And uh, I don't know why. I'll have to go back and ask somebody, but I remember that. But yeah, look, that's a beautiful car. You said 2012. 2012 was a great year, man. That was when uh, the Russians uh, ended that. They had a beefing issue with. The UK, remember, they wouldn't let the beef in from the UK. And that's when the Russians, they end, they ended that, uh, is that an embargo? What is an embargo? Let me see. An embargo, an official ban or trade on trade. Yep. The Russians, that's 2012. They ended that embargo, that beef embargo. That They had that meat embargo going on. They didn't want that beef coming in from uh, Britain. They didn't want that British bait. And so they ended it. But in, at that point, it was unlimited Russian beef was allowed in, in uh, no, unlimited British beef was allowed in Russia. And people were damn fucking throwing loins at each other. Just You'd see a, a man just beating his wife with a damn London broil over there in Russia. You know, just God, just, you know, just whipping it, just... You'd see somebody whipping their child with a damn back strap. You know, it was damn beautiful. Um, But that's, yeah, because I used to work in meat. I used to do door-to-door -door meat work. Uh, I used to do door-to-door -door meat work. We would do, you know, where you'd knock on people's door and sell them the meat right there. And people want to, pe pe look, people, there's something about meat. People want it. People want it. People want meat. Baby, they want it. And if you show up at somebody's house and you're like, guess what? And they're like, what? And you're like, I got some fucking meat right here. Some about a decent amount of people want it. Now, some vegans will call you a queer or whatever. You know? But that's them. Um... Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling, man. Let's get back into it. Uh, but yeah, I used to do door-to-door -door meat. It was truck to table right there. And we would sell it to people right there. Uh, you know, it was, you know, it was freezer to table. I don't know what it was, but it was, we'd sell that shit right out the truck. And different neighborhoods, you'd hit, you know, you'd knock and tell them you had different stuff. Ribs, bruh. If you was in some of the urban neighborhood, you'd be like, hey, guess what? We ribbing around over here, you know? I'm driving that rib rover. You feel me? We ribbed up. Who want these ribs? 